All right, everybody, welcome back to episode three on Why College is a Scam. Today we are on podcast with Atia King. Uh, I am a Reinhardt adjunct and um, I teach the Eagle Eye. So, Miss King, why did you choose to go to college in the first place? Because I was told to. I was that kid who grew up in the house where uh, you graduate high school, you go to college. It would make me successful. Were you a first generation student or did you have people in your. before you go? First generation. What did you think? What was your thought process before college? And then what was your thought process after college? Was it different than it changed or what? It definitely changed. So when I went as an 18 year old, I guess I didn't think about it too hard, honestly. I didn't think about the money part of it. Um, I went to have a good time and that's what I did and then when I went back because I wanted to change my career when I went back as an adult it was money that's all I could think about was oh my gosh look at how much college is I didn't have that thought process at 18 where did you attend college at so when I went as a as an 18 year old Metropolitan State College of Denver and then when here in Georgia, Reinhardt. When you first started, did you have the same career path as when you graduated? Like major, basically. When I came back as an adult, yes. I knew it was communications. When I went as an 18 year old, I wanted to be a journalist. So yeah, I took a bunch of journalism classes and then I realized I didn't want to do that. I just wasn't focused as an 18 year old but when you come in as a I shouldn't say adult as an older student um, because of the money I was super focused so there weren't any hey let's screw around on this class or not pass this class because I knew that it was going to cost so do you use your degree in today's world um, I do yes so do you think it was worth it for all the time you sacrificed no, no. Absolutely not. I feel personally, um, everyone doesn't need to go to college. And then everyone doesn't need to go for four years. Yes, I want my doctor to go to college. I want my lawyer maybe to go to yeah. college. But there are a lots of careers where I feel like I could have been shown this on the job. Yeah. And then the biggest and final question is, do you think college is a scam in the year of 2022? Okay. Do I think it is a scam? Yes and no. I think it needs to be reimagined. Uh, I think it is a scam to tell someone that they're going to get a history degree or philosophy degree, that there's a reason. Period. That there's a reason. Like, I don't think... I think that needs to stop happening. It seems like we are leaning towards STEM, and I feel like if you know that a student isn't going to make money with their degree, you shouldn't encourage them to go to college. And you should definitely not encourage them to waste four years and so much money to then come out and to never be able to repay that debt because they won't make any money. Like you said before, on the doctors, lawyers, I think all those people should go to school because they have school after school. They have school so after you, school. You have to learn your profession. But if you're trying to be an entrepreneur, I guess you could take business classes for four years and waste your time, or you could start up and build a business. You could start up and build a business. I think we should encourage students after high school, not necessarily to go straight to college. I think that gap year thing needs to be explored. And then I think we should encourage students to also consider trade school. Trade school is a big, big, big money. Yeah, Making and it, money. It, it makes more sense. Um, if you don't have to take history or religion, because I had to take those, and I'm like, why am I here? And I actually loved my history class, but my religion class, there were classes that I took for two years. I'm like, why? This is such a waste. Like, I just want to get in and get out. That part is scammy to me, and I think it just... It needs to be reimagined, and um, if it doesn't, if you don't need the four years, yeah, I think we should lean more towards getting that bachelor's degree done in two years for certain um, careers. Like you were saying with the the classes you didn't need to take, I'm a freshman here at Reinhardt, and I'm taking PED 100 and art, which are none of the two for my major. 
and I feel like I could get out of college way faster if I just took only my major classes, classes which help me, mm-hmm. and then wouldn't waste my time. They actually get me through, and then I could be out here in probably two years, but I'm taking these, I don't know, I guess you call them BS classes, waste time, waste my money. I agree. I, 100%. I agree with that. Do you think most colleges are overpriced? I think most colleges are overpriced, which is why it upsets me um, when I hear certain demographics talk about, you know, we're kind of pushing now for, like, get rid of that college debt. Certain demographics, I feel like if you graduated in 1975, um, you didn't pay a lot for college. Yeah, it's a little different. So I think, yeah, I, I don't like to hear that argument from... A certain demographic because it's just not the same things were different then um, now you go and like I know people who have a hundred thousand dollars worth of debt and they're probably on their job making forty five thousand dollars a year and I just think that's insane but they say well you took out the the money so you have to repay it but then you went to school for forty five thousand dollars that was easier to repay um, yeah, and so the, on, on that aspect, I think it's scammy. I think um, if you want to be an art major or um, re- I shouldn't say religion, what is another degree? Philosophy, um, history, all of those things. I think they should get those young people in and out in two years so that they don't end up with huge amounts of debt and not making any money. Because that's what we're taught. You go to college. People go to college, you'll be successful, and you'll make lots of money. And we're seeing that that is not the case. It's not the case. And do you think most people just go for, like, the college experience? Probably. Let's just say Power 5 related. Because at a small school at Reinhardt, you're not coming for the college experience. You're not coming for the college experience, but if you grew up in a small town and you've watched enough television, you may think you're coming to Reinhardt to have a certain experience. Also, COVID has changed things. Um, maybe there was a li- the atmosphere was a little different here before COVID. It's a little the campus is a little dry in. Uh, and I just don't mean alcohol. <laughs> uh, it's just um, it's not as active as it used to be. I mean, when you're sitting in high school, college, you know, you're away from your parents, you get to meet new people, party a little bit. I mean, the experience part, I think, is, is cool. Um, maybe not so much at a small college, but it doesn't mean that um, it's not worth it for that. Independence. Well, all right, everybody, that wraps up episode three of the big and biggest question of 2022. Why is college a scam? And uh, thank you, Professor King, for coming on. And thank you for having me. Maybe another podcast. (laughs) Goodbye, everybody. Bye.